If I'm going to mention how it's a vibrant community space, uh, which is found in the heart of Kilombelo Valley. Our community involves uh, research scientists, uh, medical doctors, uh, students, especially from the training centers, and also the youth and women found in Kilombelo Valley. Within our Innovation Hub, we provide uh, different supports, including services and also training programs and funds to, to support entrepreneurs and innovators to realize their ideas into um, something tangible. And currently, we, we have two major portfolios, where one is focusing on uh, rural livelihood to empower the economic um, solutions or to look onto the economic solution. And the other one is for the medical devices, which is also known as a product development partnership. With the rural livelihood portfolio, we aim to enhance social innovation and social entrepreneurship to the community in the Kilombero mm -hmm. Valley. So far, we have seven startups, to which five are developing the most viable products, but also the other two are on the scaling, uh, scaling up level. We have also empowered more than 100 um, women and young people in the Kilombo River Valley who are also entrepreneurs by providing them with financial literacy and business skills. We also provide community outreach program to cluster to the students in the cluster community to enhance innovative mindsets and to encourage them to come up with solutions to the most pressing problems in their communities. We also do realize the importance of science and technology in the contemporary world and therefore we have worked with more than 50 students, 50 pupils from public schools by providing them with 21st century skills. In the medical devices and healthcare technologies portfolio, we are working with entrepreneurs and startups from the ideation stage to prototyping to clinical testing until they accelerate the products to the market. Uh, we have so far managed to pull a consortium of five partners from the health sectors uh, who are located in Dar es Salaam, uh, Nairobi, Switzerland, uh, and Ifakara. Uh, so our partners are Vigro Africa, uh, they're found in Nairobi and they are experts in providing mentorship and coaching to our startups. And uh, EPFL in Switzerland, they provide trainings. They, they have a program called Entrepreneurship in Residence program where our entrepreneurs attend that program for the aim of being equipped with all the necessary skills in establishing company and business development, financial models, all that together. Uh, our partners in Dar es Salaam, who are Bongo Tech and Robotech, um, fabricating labs. And as the Innovation Hub, we have already purchased all the necessary equipment to these labs for them to support the entrepreneurs to start building their products. So far we have six entrepreneurs in the pipeline and two of them already have a prototype and one of them has a prototype that is already working in hospitals while the other four are still in the development stage of their prototypes. With that we have also have a symposium that we conduct every year. It's called PDP Symposium. And the aim of this symposium is to bring together key stakeholders from the health sector, including the government, for the aim of introducing the innovation in the health sector to the government and to work with the government together to see how they can formulate favorable policies for entrepreneurship, uh, for entrepreneurs, especially in the medical field. Uh, so far, we are working close with TMDA who are also um, helping us with creating frame, framework that can guide these entrepreneurs while they are manufacturing their equipment or devices. We are also looking forward to continue working with more innovators. This is the first batch, but we'll look forward to bringing in more innovators with medical devices, uh, ideas and prototypes uh, to continue supporting them to manufacture locally products that can work in our local settings, uh, in, in our hospitals and other healthcare sectors. So currently we are hosted by Ifakara Health Institute. However, we envision ourselves to become an independent center which will be legally registered uh, by 2024. As I mentioned about the future of the hub, we also uh, see ourselves um, empowering innovators, especially local innovators, um, 
to be able to manufacture products uh, from locally. Uh, we want to be able to to create a kind of innovators uh, who are coming from the local environment are coming up with the solutions that can be used um, in our local setups. So it's innovation for local and by, by locals. As much as we are proud to have impacted all these number of people, but we still think we have a lot of work to do and therefore we look forward to impact more lives in the near future. So all these couldn't have been possible without the great support from our funders, who are the Swiss Embassy of Tanzania and also Foundation Botana from Switzerland. <laughs>